Have you guys ever wanted to mine down trees but realized you've only got a diamond axe and the axe is useless with no enchantment? Well, I've got a plan to fix that. So you want to start off by throwing your diamond axe into the void. You then want to enter the mine. You then want to grab yourself eight pieces of cobblestone. And once you've grabbed yourself eight pieces of cobblestone, you want to go back to your island. Once you guys have made it back to your island, you want to go over to a crafting bench. You want to make yourself a furnace and you want to go ahead and smelt yourself some gold. Once you guys have got three gold out of the furnace, you want to go ahead and craft yourself a golden axe. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You guys right now are thinking, why did you just throw out a diamond axe into the void and craft yourself a gold axe? Well, basically, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you. After you guys have made your golden axe, you want to go ahead and grab yourself four pieces of obsidian. You would also need some diamonds and you would also need a book as well. Once you guys have done that, you want to go ahead and go back to a crafting bench. You want to start off by placing all three obsidian on the bottom row, one up above the middle block. Once you guys have done that, you want to place two diamonds on each side of the one obsidian block in the middle. And then you want to go ahead and put your book at the very top of the obsidian. And as you guys can see, I've now got myself a enchantment table which I'm going to go ahead and place right here on my island. Once you guys have placed down your enchantment table, you want to go ahead and go back to the hub island. You guys would then want to keep on running right all the way until you reach the barn. The next step that you guys want to do is grab as much leather as you guys can from the barn. And this is so you can start making books for a bookshelf. And if I was you guys, I would get around 32 pieces of leather or maybe even a stack. And then about 5 to 10 minutes later, you finally got the 64 pieces of leather that you need. You would then need to go to the mushroom desert to go and grab as much sugarcane as you can. But as you guys can see, I've already got a ton of sugarcane and I have a lot on my island as well so I don't need to mine any. You then want to go back to your island, you want to go over to a crafting bench and you want to make yourself a ton of books. Preferably as many books as you guys can out of however many paper and leather you've got. And as you guys can see, I have 65 books in my inventory. So what I need to do next is go ahead and make myself a ton of bookshelves. So as you guys can see, I've got a ton of wood at the bottom and at the top of my crafting bench. I then want to go and actually put my books in there as well. So as you guys can see, I have around 21 books right there. I might have to go back and actually grab a ton more leather so I can actually make this. But guys, I need to get around 40 bookshelves. So I'm halfway there. So back to grinding for another 5 or 10 minutes. And I've just got my farming skill level up as well. So that means I get two extra health. I get 32% chances to get double crops. And I also have 600 coins as well, which isn't that bad at all. That should be enough. Get as many books as you guys can once again. Go ahead and make yourself some more wood. Go ahead and make yourself some more bookshelves, just like that. There you go. And then you guys would want to go ahead and start laying it out. So what you guys want to do is you would want to do a 5x5, five five, just like this five and then you want to put one two three four five then you guys want to make it three high so just two more up just like that and then you guys should be able to get yourself a nice little crafting area but guys you need to fill it all the way up so i need to get 14 more bookshelves and then we should be good to go and once you guys have all of your bookshelves all you simply have to do is just put them around in a five by five by three radius and you guys have finally made yourself your enchantment area now this is where the grinding park begins now what you guys have to do is you need to get yourself 60 levels of experience in the game obviously you guys can get this XP for mining and you can also get it from killing mobs and if you guys are grinding out in the farm to obviously get the books then you can obviously get XP from doing that as well. You then want to go ahead and open up your enchantment table, put in your axe and you would want to keep on switching out your axe until you do find efficiency 5 in the enchantment table and once you guys have done that you go ahead and click on efficiency 5 and as you guys can see I have done it and I have now have an efficiency 5 telekinesis 1 axe. Now in case you didn't know if you do actually get efficiency 5 on your axe you actually get telekinesis one for free on your gold axe efficiency five is the best enchantment on this axe simply because it increases how quickly your tool breaks blocks and the free telekinesis one enchantment that i actually got is actually really good as well simply because if i go and mine blocks all of the blocks will actually go into my inventory straight away and obviously if i do fight any mobs with this axe all of the the drops that i actually get from the mobs will instantly go into my inventory as well so i'm really happy that i got this axe it's really op so if we go back to the hub and then we start running all the way over to the park we should be able to mine trees really really quick and as you guys can see we are actually mining very fast so yes guys it was actually worth making this axe if you guys are new to skyblock this should be one of the first axes that you guys make simply because it's really fast and obviously you can grab blocks really 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 quick but let's go ahead and travel to the park and as you guys can see i've just unlocked the birchwood recipe as well but what you guys want to do is you want to keep on progressing your way throughout the park so as you guys can see i'm now in the next area of the park and that is to mine spruce wood 
And as you guys can see, I've just done the collection unlock of Spruce Wood as well. And then once you guys have done that, you then want to progress to your next jump to the next location, which is this location right here, which is the Dark Thicket, guys. And as you guys can see, I've just done the collection unlock of Dark Oak Wood. And also, I've got a skill level up of Forging to level 6. But this axe is very good and it's very useful as well as it has telekinesis 1 because obviously all of the wood goes into your inventory straight away. You guys then want to progress throughout this area. You then want to talk to Ryan and apparently guys if you actually spend 10 seconds in the fire you can actually unlock something. So let's go ahead and stand in the fire for 10 seconds. And as you guys can see I just completed the trial so I do recommend that you guys do make this axe especially if you're starting off because it's really cool. And guys look at that. That is the end right there. I just got myself another foraging upgrade where I've got plus 1 strength strength and 500 coins once again you guys then want to go back to the main area of the dark thicket and guys i didn't even notice this but basically there is a new location right here and if i just jump up this will take you to the savannah woodlands guys and this is pretty cool as well like i can just grab like a ton of these blocks as well so once you've grabbed a ton of wood right here all you simply have to do next is go up to this next location which i believe is the jungle wood now this is the best wood that i actually recommend that you guys get because uh i personally like jungle wood and apparently you can actually get some good resources out of the jungle wood as well and the reason why the jungle wood is actually the best is simply because one it sells for more and two a lot more people would actually want this from the auction like you guys can complete more quests and stuff like that as well and as you guys can see i just actually unlocked a brand new level i've got 600 coins plus one strength and 32 percent chance to get double logs so that's pretty cool so once you guys have grabbed yourself a ton of wood all you simply have to do next is go to your collection go to your forging collection and as you guys can see you've unlocked all of the forging collections and you can go ahead and start completing all of the missions as you guys can see you can actually get yourself some more like armor some more like recipes and stuff like that guys of different stuff some enchanting stuff and it's just pretty awesome so there you go and the final thing that i recommend you guys to do is simply go and get yourself a haste free potion go back to the pot you guys then want to drink up your haste free potion and as you guys can see you will literally instant mine every single log that you go ahead and do and this is actually a really quick thing to do so if you guys do actually get this axe i do recommend you guys getting haste free potions because trust me when i say this it is really fast and it is very efficient as well and as you guys can now see i have half a dub of wood already and if i didn't have this axe and i still had that diamond axe in the beginning of the video i think if this would have taken me at least two hours to get but on that note guys i'm going to end this video here if you guys did enjoy this video then smash that like button right down below guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new join the jtom army i'd just like to thank you guys so much for all of the constant support on this channel it really does mean a lot and you guys are smashing that like button on every single video so thank you guys so much and i'd just like to thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next episode goodbye guys